Hi, fifth grade. How are you? I sure miss all of you. I know if we were at school today, we would be going to church and we would be having the crowning of um, the Statue of Mary in the Rose Garden. So it's so sad to be missing all these fun things that we would be doing together. But happy May Day, May 1st. Um, the project that I have for you this week is a uh, monochromatic landscape. So we're combining um, what I taught you about um, foreground, middle ground, background, and how you make a two-dimensional surface look like it's three dimensions, and then also some of the things that I've been teaching you about color. So like last week, the color challenge, I hope the color wheel challenge, I hope you are doing that. And um, it's, uh, when we were together, we reviewed a lot about different colors and we talked about complementary colors. So um, the project today, as I said, a monochromatic landscape. So monochromatic means one color, mono meaning one, chromatic meaning color. So you basically take a single color and then you expand on it with different shades or tints of that color. Now, um, shade is when you add black to a color and it's called shading a color and tint or tinting a color is when you add white. Um, so when you, of course, when you're adding white to a color, it makes the color lighter. And when you add black to a color, it's making the color darker, but it's still the same basic hue, color. Um, in this particular project, this one is done in purples, violets, shades of, and when you get to the lightest shade of violet, um, it's called lavender. Um, the lightest shade of red is called pink, but the lightest shade of other colors is just light, like uh, the lightest shade of blue would be light blue, light shade of green would be light green, light orange, light yellow. But when you have a violet or a um, red, those um, light shades, when you add a lot of white to them, actually have a name um, of their own color, so lavender or pink. Um, so what I want you to do is um, sketch a landscape, very simple. It can be a series of uh, mountains or um, hills or valleys and hills, just some kind of land structures. And there are going to be horizontal lines going across from foreground, middle ground, background. And, um, and then you're going to pick a color. So um, any color on the color wheel, one of the primary or secondary colors, doesn't matter which, which one you choose. And then you're going to do um, shades and tints of that color to get the variation of, of a monochromatic um, landscape. Now, I know if you have paints, that would be great. Not all of you probably have paints at home and maybe your parents won't let you use the paints, but if you have paints, that would be the, the best way to do this project. But you certainly can do it with crayons or oil pastel or colored pencils. The way you're gonna to wanna to change the color. So let's say you, you start with a um, purple, okay, as this one is done. Um, and you just keep adding white. So if you're using a crayon, you can just color dark, very dark, press hard on it. That'll give you a very intense shade of purple. And then as you go um, medium and lighter and lighter, you can just vary the shade of purple by the pressure that you put with your crayon or your colored pencil or your oil pastel. Um, if you're using, and then you can also add white crayon on top of it too which would help it, or you can add black crayon, which would help it to go darker. So you'll be able to do quite a range of color if you're just using crayons or colored pencils. If you're using paints, of course, you can add a little teeny, teeny bit of white paint. Don't add too much and keep adding more and more. Um, and, I was, and then start with another little spot of your color and add a little teeny bit of black. Black goes a long way, it's an intense color. So you're not going to need very much to change um, the hue of, of what you've chosen. The other thing you can do is, like we talked about last week on the color wheel, you can do a little bit of a color that's next to your color. So let's say you're going to use blue. You can add a little bit of green or you can add a little bit of violet and you can change it a little bit that way. You don't want to have it end up too green or too violet. You want to stay with the original color because that's why we're calling it monochromatic one color um, but you can add a little bit of that to get a variation of, of, of shade in there or tint um, 
but you don't want to go across the color wheel okay you're only going to stick right next to the color you go across the color wheel you are going to get I hope you remember the complementary color but if you I what I also hope you remember is if you add mix complementary colors together you're just going to get like a yucky shade of brown so you don't want to do that in your landscape you want to just keep it close to what the color is and um, better if you can just add white and black because that really changes the color so you're going to end up with um, a combination again you're going to be doing something that's going to incorporate foreground middle ground background and you're going to be doing a variation of colors um, variation of one color you can go from dark to light or you can go from light to dark however you choose to do this and you can choose any color you want as I said before you can also put objects in the foreground and you can see these are large because they are closer up because they're at the bottom of the painting okay so um, these look black but um, they're purple but with a lot of black in them okay but I, I definitely want you not to just add black or add pure white I want you to always have your base color and add white or black to that okay so um, have fun with that I um, will be anxious to see what you do I really hope that you will send it to me in an email so I can see what you have come up with and how you have incorporated monochromatic with um, foreground middle ground background so have fun I hope that you're doing a lot of drawing in your sketchbooks and I hope that you're all staying well I will um, look forward to our next time together and more than that I would look forward to seeing you so take care bye bye